Hey, what's up guys, Saman here from Explore Gadgets. Last night, we received the final version of Android 7.0 aka Nougat for supported Nexus devices and if you are enrolled for the developer preview, you should be receiving the update by now. I will also leave a link in the description for enrolling to the developer's preview. So I'm on Android 7.0 for around 4 hours now and here are the changes I have noticed so far. First off is the all new launcher. I was so happy to see the app drawer icon on the final version of Nougat. Also the odd looking Google shortcut is now gone. And now the apps in Android Nougat open and closes really fast. We now also have the all new settings app. Now we get a few suggestions to change the settings and also basic info under each settings like the number of apps installed, storage info, and so on. Next is multitasking. With Nougat, we get the split screen support. Long press the recent app button and you get this in the multi-window mode. Now you can choose any supported app that you want to simultaneously open. But as of now, all the apps are not supported in this mode, but hopefully they will be added in the future updates. Another add-on to the recent app button is double tap will take you to the last app. I find myself using this feature a lot. Also, you can now clear all the apps from the multitasking, which was not present in the previous version of stock Android Marshmallow. Next is notifications. Notifications can now be managed right from the lock screen or the notification panel. Talking about the lock screen, we can see that the lock screen notifications are now minimal. You can just tap and hold on the notification and change its alert settings. Coming to the notification panel, along with the notifications, we have the basic toggles. You can now edit quick settings right from here. And you also have the additional options for your quick settings like data saver, invert colors, and so on. And yeah, almost forgot to mention, the quick reply feature is more clean and convenient now. Some other changes are also there, like the Google Now on tap has new shortcuts. And on developer options, you can now choose the width size. Basically, this is like changing the DPI of your device. Also, while choosing wallpapers, you get separated options for lock screen and home screen, which was not available before on stock Marshmallow. And there's also this new option for VR users that you can find by going into settings and display. On the Google keyboard, we get some new emojis and themes. And the good thing is that we can also add any image as a theme as you can see here. Android Nougat has adopted Vulkan API, and this has definitely increased the quality of gaming, VR and other graphically intensive apps considerably on mobile. And Doze now works whenever the screen is off, not just when you are inactive. App makers will also be able to reduce the amount of background power they consume in Android Nougat. And now, apps will install 75% quicker and take up to 50% less space, which is amazing. So, these are some of the info I have collected so far. Do leave your Android Nougat experiences down in the comment section below. Stay tuned for more, and as always, thanks for watching and you guys have a great day.